Welcome back to the channel and as promised uh, quite some time ago I promised a uh, review of the Edward 72nd scale B24J Liberator. Uh, this is actually the boxing for the uh, Mark IV, Mark V Liberator used by Royal Air Force and some of other European uh, nations. So um, this is going to be a whistle stop tour around the kit and some of the extras that are available for this kit and that I've actually bought for this build. So, um, nice artwork, typical of uh, Edward and their uh, graphics department. Their, uh, their, their artwork is uh, amazing. Uh, it's, it's often very simple but effective uh, and that's what kind of like to see on these uh, box art. That would almost be worth framing but there might be a bit of a clue of that in the box. Uh, so just looking around the kit number for this is uh, 2123 and on one end of the box we can see we've got a little bit of history and some of the uh, inclusions of an artwork uh, book that's in the kit. Just the uh, box art on the end there. Some details again. The kit mark, uh, part number is on the end. Is on the end there. And other side, we've got uh, a range of the markings that are in the kit. Uh, so we've got. Uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least ten markings in this kit, uh, as opposed to the original base kit, which may only have like two maybe three markings in the box so on opening the box uh, the box is pretty full of plastic um, it's all there uh, the first thing that you kind of notice is the amount of uh, clear parts that are in the kit uh, the there's a bit of a clue here because it's got there's a label here that says made in Japan which gives us a bit of a clue as to where this kit has come from. Uh, the base kit is the Hasegawa B24J kit and in order to replicate the parts for the um, Mark IV, Mark V version of the B24 they've included their own uh, moulded set of clear parts as well as some updates which include um, propellers, uh, turrets, uh, some rockets and a few other bits and pieces that are, are non-standard to the traditional B24. So nicely, nice that the uh, clear parts are separately bagged and the Edward uh, replacement clear parts are in their own bag along with the um, moulded uh, clear parts in that same bag but the clear parts are, are separate in their own bag uh, the remainder of the kit is uh, in one big bag of, clear, of um, grey plastic parts um, I'm not going to get this out because uh, there are enough uh, reviews on YouTube uh, showing the B24 as the as the Hasegawa boxing but it's all very nice you can see the parts they're all nicely uh, scribed plenty of rivet detail and it's very fine and crisp which is traditional with Hasegawa parts and the thing with Ed Edward kits particularly the limited edition stuff is that um, they always take the best kit on the market rebox it and add their own flair to it I suppose uh, other parts we get, which are again traditional with Edward um, updates, we get some uh, photo etch, uh, some standard pre coloured photo etch for the instrument panels, seat belts, uh, and various other bits and pieces, as well as standard brass coloured PE, which uh, would be uh, traditional for, uh, for other details like rockets and bulkheads and stuff. Uh, also get a nice set of uh, die cut uh, paint masks for there's enough 
clear parts on there that you're going to need it so trying to mask all that freehand would be a nightmare so it's nice that we get that uh, very nice set of uh, decals and uh, as per Edward's traditional preference they've gone with Catagraph and uh, Catagraph are the best on the market for printing decals um, they're really really nice so we've got a whole range of different markings and data stencils and instrument uh, decals. Not that we're going to need that because we've got the pre-coloured uh, photo etch. So that's nice. Um, beautifully coloured um, instruction sheet. Pretty comprehensive as you'd expect from uh, from Edward, and they they always do things very very well it's easy it's clear it's precise and uh, just an example of some of the artwork um, just an example of one of the marking schemes there I mean that's just really nice with the um, the sort of you know the, the artwork on the nose there that's uh, that's really cool and the, the other markings that are in the kit they're no different you know, we've, we've got markings from Coco's Island. Um, you know, these are just really nice, really nice markings, and uh, the same throughout. So. Uh, it's really well presented, nice thick magazine quality book for your instrument, for your instructions. And then one of the nice nice things that Edward does with their um, some of their limited edition kits, particularly this one, is a, uh, a nice booklet that uh, accompanies the kit so with some great uh, black and white images. Uh, of the Mark IV, Mark V's in service. Um, uh, sorry, I've been saying Mark IV, Mark V, they're actually GR Mark VI and Mark VIII. So, um, yeah, just to clarify that, so it's the Mark VI and Mark VIII. But um, really nice booklet. Um, you can find this online as well. Uh, so, whenever you go onto the uh, Edward website, you can see some of the uh, images from this book on that on that page. And I'll put a link uh, link below to Edward's page for for this item. And another nice thing, uh, and I've had I've had this with um, the tornado kits and also the P40. Is uh, you get a, an artwork print uh, from the boxing. And uh, I can just unravel this. There we go. So we get a nice artwork which is worthy of being framed, and uh, I just love that. Uh, I've just picked up uh, a kit. Uh, they've just reboxed the Tornado uh, Desert Babe um, Ravel 48 scale Tornado, and that comes with three prints of their nose artwork. So they're doing this a lot. Uh, I had it with the P40E that I did um, a year or so ago and uh, it's just nice to see just really good quality artwork in the, in the kits. I'll just pack all this away and we'll move on to the extras, all the goodies that come that are available for this kit. So let's take a look. Yeah, so um, Edward have been, uh, they sell a lot of resin uh, items for, for their kits and other manufacturers kits but what they also do is to save, I guess save a bit of money they package things together for specific kits and so and what they, what they call them is the Edward Brazen Big Sin sets so this is uh, obviously for the, uh, the Liberator, uh, has a go set for the Mark V and uh, in that we get um, 
depth charges, resin engines and the ignition wiring for those, as well as resin wheels, bomb bay doors, rocket projector and turbo chargers. And you see that on there. Uh, beautifully packaged, nice covered foam. And we get all that inside on a foam base. Uh, I'm not going to get these out again, they're on the Edward page, which I'll put the link in below. Uh, so we've got some, uh, in fact, I'll get one of these out. The engines, they're just beautiful. You get four of them in the pack, as well as the photo etch for the uh, ignition wiring. So that's the photo etch there. That's got the ignition, ignition wires in them. But the... Let's see if I can get in on this. So, the quality on that resin is just beautiful. Edward and their brazen, uh, resin brand are uh, just they're the best. Um, and probably, you know, so with it, this particular engine, I think, has had a, a short shot in the, um, in the molding process. But once it's painted up, detailed, and it's got the ignition wiring, and it's actually in the housing uh, on the kit, I don't think it's going to make much difference. But also, having resin parts like this all in one bag is kind of part of the problem in that you've got part, delicate parts rubbing together where um, you're likely to get issues. So we get the engines and these are the uh, these are the rocket part um, the depth charges. We've got the um, rocket projector which is a, a frame system that goes inserts up into the bomb bay and uh, they can launch uh, rockets from that. Um, got the resin wheels, bomb bay doors, and the um, turbo chargers, which they're really, really nice. So once they they're painted up, they'll, they'll look really smart on top of the um, on top of the wings. So we get instructions for each one. So that's the bomb bay doors. We've got the instructions for the uh, turbo chargers. These are all pretty much just one page fold out to give you an idea of uh, what, what you're looking at there. It's pretty simple. It shows you what to remove and how to position them into the parts. Uh, got the uh, wheels and on the back it shows you what you should have in the package for your wheels and the uh, wheel masks. Uh, the wheels are actually a two page affair. Um, shows you all the other accessories that are available. Got the depth charges. The rocket projector pack, and then finally the engines. So that's all contained in the one box, and you can generally save yourself about, mm, I'm talking New Zealand dollars here, probably talking maybe about ten dollars, somewhere between ten to fifteen dollars on the cost of buying all of these items separately. So. That's the big sin uh, resin set. So again, that all comes in the one box. Uh, some other items that I bought from Edward as well. I bought the uh, GR Mark V upgrade set. So that's for the RAF version. Uh, so that's just got uh, some pre-coloured uh, placards and then uh, some standard uh, brass PE for um, bulkheads and, and various bits and pieces. So it's just a basic upgrade set. And then I've got the, uh, the bomb bay doors uh, or the bomb bay set which uh, lines the doors and the internal structure of the bomb bay. So that'll look really nice. 
and then uh, other bits and pieces I've bought are um, the Liberator oxygen bottle set. These are from Quick Boost, uh, just basic resin and cast oxygen bottles. Uh, very similar to the ones used on B17, so pretty much if you can get B17 oxygen bottles, or even these ones, both of them would apply. So they're just, they're just a simple set. I've also got the uh, Checkmaster resin uh, navigators uh, compartment. So that's just a basic resin cast set that will go into the nose of the B24. Um, now given the, the there's different turrets that mount on the front so you may not necessarily need this set. Um, but I won't know that until I decide which version that I'm going to use. And then the final uh, thing that I got for uh, for the build are um, these are actually B17 uh, Masters brass brass turned uh, gun barrels. But the the thing with the the B24 and the B17 is that they share the, the same uh, Browning uh, gun barrels. Uh, the B17 tends to have them with shrouds on. Uh, these come with separate shrouds, so I'll just have the basic gun barrels to fit onto the, the B24. And in order to um, give them some pop, as it were, uh, on the model, trying, trying to paint uh, Master's pedo probes can be quite difficult unless you've got some form of metal etching agent. And that's what I've got here. Uh, this is um, Master's uh, etching agent. So you basically just dip, dip the uh, gun barrels into the, the solution and it etches the, the metal and turns it black. Um, so uh, I've got that. I bought them at the same time as, as these as well as I bought some other um, gun barrels and PO tubes from Master's. And I bought that at the same time. So, so that's just a quick roundup of the B24 um, Liberator Riders in the Sky. Um, so I, I promised that before, and so um, got it out of the way now. So, thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.